Hi everyone, I wanted to make a very quick video today on uh, the how to set up CapFrame X and benchmarking for Fortnite FPS. Um, on my Discord, I regularly post new benchmark replays uh, when there's a Fortnite update because the old one then gets the old ones then get invalidated. So you have to you have to um, use an up to date replay um, that we can all run on our PCs. And we can all then compare FPS. And I've got a little leaderboard going on my on my Discord as well, so you can actually see kind of what the best um, best uh, platforms are. That so if, potentially if you're looking to upgrade or buy a new PC uh, for for Fortnite or any kind of CPU bound game, then you can see just what kind of difference the CPUs make um, to the to the average FPS that you'll be able to you'll be able to get so yeah if you um want to try this as well then um join my discord the link will be in the description and it's um in my alexander the dad uh, profile um and then head over to the fortnite benchmarking section which is open to everybody and then there's um right at the top of the post there's a set of instructions on how to run through everything so first things first is to download capframe x uh, that's a free tool. You can just um, go and go and Google it and grab it from their website, capramex.com. Uh, just download it and install it. Once you've installed it, uh, you should have something that looks like this, but probably not in dark mode. If you want to stick it in dark mode, you need to go to the corner um, app and then just stick it in dark mode. I quite like that. Um, after that's done, the, you want to go to over to the capture tab and you want to set these up. So um, the standardized um, benchmarking that we typically do is running for three minutes, 180 seconds, and we have a three second lead in time, a capture delay before it starts recording. Um, and then you want to set your capture hot key. Now, by default, this is F11 key. And F11 is actually used for something else in Fortnite, so you need to change this. So change it to something on your keyboard, something obscure. Um, so I use number pad minus, but you could use something like what's under the um, backspace key, which is kind of um, backslash, or I don't know, maybe something um, like right um, square bracket, or I don't know, something that... Fortnite's not going to be using as well and something that's out of the way. So whatever's available on your keyboard, basically. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep mine uh, on my subtract key on my number pad. I know a lot of you guys don't have extended keyboards, so you probably you might not have that one. So choose, choose your own hotkey here. Right, once that's set up, um, you can then, uh, let's go back to the instructions. You then need to download the latest replay file from my Discord. So it's this thing here. So I'll always, as I say, I'll always publish an up-to-date replay. I'll just use one of my own. I'll just run a game and then select a time slice where it's quite busy, three-minute window where it's busy in the replay. So just give it, give your system a little bit of a workout. Um, there won't be end-game FNCS replays because I don't play uh, builds. Or FNCS, or FNCS level, but there'll, there'll be enough for a comparison. So um, head over to this, download this replay, or whatever one's the latest one. I'll, I'll delete these as they become invalid, and then I'll, I'll publish new ones. Um, and then you need to go and, uh, once you've downloaded it, put it into your local app data Fortnite demos folder. So um, let me show you where that is. So all you do is you type you go into your gaming PC and you type percent local app data or data, or as you want to call it, hit and enter. That will take you to there. Then you want to find Fortnite's game folder, saved, demos, and these are all your replays, basically. This is what Fortnite reads when you go into the replay section. Um, so if you scroll, you can, and then just paste it in here. So there it is in, in here. Um, and then you, when you open Fortnite, it'll just be there. It'll just be there to play, okay? So 
So once it's in that directory, let's go back to the instructions again. Um, open up Fortnite and then um, set your FPS to unlimited. So I have unlimited already in Fortnite because um, I cap in cap in RTSS. So I cap in RTSS. Um, I cap at my hertz of my monitor. So you can right click and choose your monitor. Oh, it's saying 239 right now. That's kind of weird. Um, I think it's picking up the wrong monitor. Uh, but the, yeah, that's my uh, 479.989. Um, but you want to set that to zero. If, you, if we're all comparing, we might as well just run unlimited. Otherwise, everybody's going to have different FPS caps. So we might as well just run unlimited. If you want more specific tests done, um, and comparisons and analysis, then I have a premium section on my Discord where you can do that and we can analyze it for you. Um, but for just general public, general testing, then just set this to unlimited with a zero and set um, Fortnite to unlimited as well. So I'll launch Fortnite up. You can see what's going on. I've got a lot of um, overlay things at the moment as well. I've got all my pause, so you'll be able to see all that information. You can you can add and remove things that you want to see while you're running, but to be honest, they're, they're going to disappear as soon as the, the um, replay starts anyway, because it auto disables them. Um, you, can, you can leave it on, but it'll add a bit more overhead. Won't be as clean. And that's that starting. So make sure you're running processes is that win 64 shipping one. Um, if you've got extra ones in here, move them to the ignore list. I'm getting an occasional black screens here because my monitor um, is running 480 hertz and that requires some renegotiation every time it goes into a different screen, which is slow. So you can see what I'm running here. I've got my um, 14900KS all running at 5.9 gigahertz. See my temps, see my voltages. I'm just doing P-cores at the moment. Uh, there's my GPU, that's a 4080 Super. Um, I've overclocked it a little bit, so it's sitting at 3000 megahertz. Uh, but you can see my temperatures as well, and you can see the FPS in the corner. So let's go and find this replay. Go into the replay section. Oh, before I do that, before I do that, um, show you my settings. So um, we're ideally running performance mode to compare. I mean, you can run whatever you want, but performance mode will give you the most FPS. So you're better off um, running performance mode. As I said, run as unlimited, uh, run as your native resolution, stick it in full screen, you'll get more FPS. Uh, what else have I got in here? Um, you can set different levels of reflex. Um, but you, can only, you can't do that from the performance mode screen. So you'd have to go into like DX12 and then um, set reflex to whatever you normally play with. I normally play with on, on plus boost because that's the lowest latency. That gives you a lot lower latency, but you will lose some FPS. So if you want to cheat a little bit and get a bit few more FPS on, on your benchmarks, then um, turn reflex off. But I like just benchmarking on what I actually run at because uh, it gives me an accurate representation of my gameplay. Um, so yeah, but you'll need, as I say, you'll need to you'll need to go into um, DX12 in order to change the reflex setting, and then you can pop back into performance mode afterwards. Um, what else got? So I've got everything on near. I've got epic textures because that actually moves some work from the CPU to the GPU, and my GPU is bored out of its mind in Fortnite because Fortnite is a CPU bound game. So I move all the textures to Epic because it doesn't really make much difference to FPS, but it makes the game look a lot better. So you can run low if you want. Uh, again, you'll probably get a teeny tiny bit more FPS, but, but this is what I normally run at. So. Um, show FPS off because uh, I'm running these. And that's that. So these are my settings for the test. Um, so let's go into the test now. Oh, hang on. Quest, when we're doing career replay. 
Yeah, it's normally at the bottom as well. As soon as you rename a replay, look, these are all U's and then you have the, the renamed one. So take a note of what the name of the replay is as well. Um, if it, whatever this number is, is the number you, you should start the replay at. So if it's 765, you start it at the time at 765 and then run that for the 180 seconds, the three minutes. So take a note of whatever the time is, the time start is, because that will change depending on whatever the replay is called. So keep, an, keep a note on that. All right, so let's run that. Play it. Okay, and then first thing to do is change to gameplay mode. And then you want to press pause or spacebar and then press T on your keyboard for time. And then in there you can set the start time, which 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 was 765. Press enter. That will take you to the start of the replay. So we are going to be recording from here to about here. That's the three minutes we're going to be doing. Yeah. Um, right, so as so soon as we're ready to go, we're going to press, so we're, we're on pause right now, we're going to press the space bar, and then we're going to press our hotkey for CapFrame X to start recording, so whatever that, whatever you set it to. So mine's going to be minus on the um, number pad, but you might have set something else. So space bar, then the hotkey, in that order, right after each other, okay? Ready, steady, go. Started. And then this will run for three minutes. And all the stats will have disappeared. I'm going to fast forward the video now so that you don't have to watch all of this. Capture finished. All right, so that's finished. Um, so all the stats will come back up again once it's done. Um, now we need to basically run it again because the first run was to build all the shader cache. So you'll probably have quite stuttery um, replay. But if we run it again now from the beginning, it will um, it will have all those shaders in place and it will have a lot smoother run. And that's the result you want to capture. So we after we press pause with the space bar, we now press T again for time. We re-enter the time that we start with. 365. Oh, sorry, 765 in this example. Um, so we're ready to go again. So as soon as we're ready to record the, the, we want, the one we want to keep, we press space bar and our hotkey for our cap frame X. Ready, ready, go. And this is, as I say, the recording we want to then analyze. We can get rid of the um, cap frame X recording um, the first run, but this is the second run we want to keep. So I'll fast forward again so you don't have to watch all this. And then we'll um, we'll go and look at the look at the um, cap frame max results at the end of it. Yeah. Capture finished. And we're done. All right. So once that's done, we can we can close Fortnite. There we go. It's the new one. So this is this is the one we didn't we don't need because that was the shader cache. We can press delete on that one. Uh, this is just bench seven six five. Me or oh, Alexander the Dad. There we go. Um, you can like see stuttering. You can see your your sensor data, your temperatures your clock speeds, whether they're down clocks, um, any kind of bottlenecks. Um, and then you can see your average FPS. So this is the thing we're going for for this, for this comparison. So you want to have a look at your average, average FPS. So mine's um, 615 for this replay. Um, so what you want to do next is you want to press Shift, Windows key and S for a screenshot. Um, and then kind of select, make sure you're in the FPS tab and then select all of that and then go and paste it as a result in my Discord. And then I'll put you on the leaderboard and we can compare and etc. If you do want to run any other tests, like to see whether a, a tweak or change is better or worse, this is, this is the ideal way of doing it. 
So keep the same replay, make one change for a tweak, and then do a before and after. And you can see whether it then gets better or worse. And that's an excellent way of tuning your own PC. You can actually see whether it's better or worse and not just rely on feel. So this is, this is the basis of pretty much all my benchmarking and all my tweaks. I, I get rid of things that don't make any difference and I keep things that do make a difference and I put them all together. Um, so like, for example, 24 hex versus 21 hex. Like for example, comparing um, um, no frame cap with a frame cap. And you can kind of look at them like this. So you can compare things. So you can see in this example, this is exactly the same replay. Uh, but here I've got a 480 cap in orange, and this is where I run unlimited, and it goes all over the place. So these frame times, the time between each frame will be up and down, up and down, up and down, which is not very good for consistent aim, because it's like the beat of music. You want a consistent beat in order to dance to it, otherwise you're going to find it very hard to dance. Whereas if you keep a, a consistent frame time and a consistent FPS, then it's much easier to get better muscle memory for your aim. So this is just another example of um, tuning and capping and, and um, analysis, basically. So yeah, post, post your pictures on my Discord and I'll add you to the leaderboard. Um, and um, hopefully that helps. Just general, even, even if it's for just like general uh, measuring the performance of your system. This is really, really useful, especially like the sensor data. And you can kind of look at, um, see whether, how much it's throttling on your cores or what temperatures it's going between or the, even the voltages for each core. So it's really, really useful, this tool. So I strongly recommend Capframe X to actually see what's going on with your computer. Anyway, I hope that helps. Any questions, post them on Discord and um, happy benchmarking. All right, bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.